<clears throat> okay, I got this new uh, Hornady uh, lock and load um, neck turning tool. It's powered by a drill, and I just want to show you guys like how I'm forming this 270 AR brass. I'm starting out with uh, 6.5 Lapua um, by 47 brass. It's the best brass out there. Um, you know, uh, Big Dog or uh, Bruce, uh, he sort of. Uh, pushed me reluctantly to this brass and I tell you this brass is the best. So much better than uh, Lapua Palma, um, much better than any of the 308 brass I've tried. It forms really easy. So I'm going to show you guys how easy that is. So I'm using, um, I'm using a die with the, with the guts taken out just so it'll uh, push the neck back. And I'm not even going to use any, not even going to use any lube on this to show you how easy this is. Put in there. Oops. <laughs> That's got to be tightened. That popped loose because it wasn't tightened all the way. I'm going to turn it once. I'm just going to go down again. You can see it push the neck back. I don't know if you can see it, but the there's you can part of it's thicker and part of it's thinner. That's the neck, and now we're down into the regular brass. Um, so now I'm just going to use the saw. Um, just to cut that extra off, put it in there, and there's a little jig that you can get. Uh, so, um, next I'm going to go ahead and just cut some of that extra off. I'm actually going to ream it. I just wanted to get some of that extra off. So, next thing I'm going to do is I am going to run it through my Hornady um, uh, trimmer. And I've got this uh, uh, Forrester 264 uh, reamer on there, and it fits right in there. And um, just to make it easier to ream out in one step, I'm going to put just a little squirt of case lube on there. And that makes it easier to ream. So now I'm just going to go in there, ream it out, and then I'm going to trim it to length. <clears throat> Once again, I'm going to camphor and do burr. I just did it before I went in there just to just to make it easier for the reamer to go in. So now I am going to neck turn. <clears throat> so I put this piece in there. It uses a hornady um, a hornady uh, face holder. That up so it's like and once it's in there, then I'm going to turn this to tighten it. And it's powered by a drill, so you want to make sure that your drill bit is tight on there so it doesn't slop around and you strip that little piece in there. So I'm make sure that's nice and tight. You have to make adjustments up um, on this piece right here. It clicks down to get it um, your um, the the right amount down, so it only takes the brass off you want. But this goes really quick. <laughs> takes it right down to um, the neck shoulder junction there makes it nice and clean cut <clears throat> so next all I need to do is expand it out to um, to 270 so I've got my expanded die somewhere. 
here's my expander die. <coughs> so I'll put this in there and expand it out, and I'm now done. I've got a uh, 270 AR piece of brass. Easy peasy.